We saw how to extract the metals from its ores. Now once the metal is extracted, we are using in our household. We are using everywhere the metals. Do they undergo any corrosion? Do they get spoiled? What is corrosion? Corrosion is nothing but the spoilage of these metals. We use aluminium vessels, we use copper vessels, we use gold articles, we use silver articles, we use iron articles. Do they remain lifelong like that? No. They get degraded slowly. Why do they get degraded? Why do they get spoiled? Because they also react with components present in the environment. Like we get ill. We are not always strong. Sometimes we have illness because of some infection, because of some other reason. Metals also get degraded. They react with oxygen of the air. They react with carbon dioxide of the air. They react with sulfur present in the air. They react with moisture of the air. And that's why they get degraded slowly. Now let's take example of iron, which is used enormously everywhere. Iron bridges are there. Iron articles are there. Iron machinery is there. Do they remain like that? No. We see they get corroded. Iron has the ability to react with the moisture present in the air. Also, they also have the ability to react with oxygen of the air. And they form a product which is brown in color. You must have observed in your houses, various grills are present. We are putting grills on our windows. Do they shine all the time? No, they will not shine after one season also. They will turn brown, blackish in color. Why does it happen? It happens because it is reacting with number of things present in the environment. All this degradation of metals which I am talking about is nothing but corrosion. Corrosion is the degradation of metals due to environmental conditions. What happens to iron? Iron bridges, they have to be repaired every time. Iron articles, iron machinery has to be oiled, greased. Why we are doing all these things? Because iron reacts with oxygen of the air in the presence of moisture. We all know air has large number of water particles in the form of moisture which we call moisture. They react with it and form Fe2O3. Now this is in general it is called as rust. As I had mentioned we see many of the articles of iron getting brownish in color. They turn brownish or blackish in color. Why? Because slowly over the time they react with oxygen and moisture to form oxide which is called rust and this is brown in color. This is how the corrosion of iron takes place. Now what about copper vessels? You all must be having copper vessels at home. Your grandparents age copper vessels were used in large. What happened if I don't use copper vessel? I don't wash it every day. You will see that there is a slight greenish covering over the copper vessel. Now why this from where this green color come? Where this green product is forming? Why it is forming? I will tell you the reason. Copper vessels, now they are reacting with oxygen, but they are also reacting with carbon dioxide. So copper vessels react with oxygen as iron do, but they react with carbon dioxide also along with moisture present in the air. And this whole reaction forms a greenish color product which is called as copper carbonate which is hydrated. This is the product which is green in color. So we see a greenish coating over the copper vessels. It is copper carbonate which is hydrated or also called as hydrated copper carbonate.
this greenish color is the corrosion is the result of corrosion of copper copper is reacting with oxygen and carbon dioxide in the presence of moisture to form a green coating this is cuco3 cuoh twice this was about copper have you seen gold getting rusted it's not so common gold is totally you know in reactive it is not reactive at all so we do not see corrosion very easily on gold but yes have you seen on silver articles we must be using silver we have silver articles silver bells at home or you must have seen your parents washing it properly before puja why it is happening what's happening for that silver that silver is turning blackish in color why have you seen that blackish color now silver has the ability to react with the sulfur present in the air where is sulfur present in the air there is large amount of impurities in the air sulfur dioxide sulfur trioxide sulfuric acid acid rain so everything is containing sulfur so this sulfur this silver is reacting with sulfur part of the atmosphere so ag is the symbol of silver it reacts with s that means sulfur part forming ags which is black in color so before using for any puja we have to wash it we have to remove it remove the black coating and then we use it this all are the examples of corrosion of metals which we see around us this corrosion can be prevented now at home you must be seeing that if the copper vessel has a greenish color what your mom does she will use lemon she might use tamarind she might use she might use light acidic uh, nature of any other uh, uh, avla or something why is she using this because this lemon tamarind they contain natural acids and when natural acids are reacted with the green coating this carbonate comes out and when this carbonate comes out the copper vessel shines again what about iron can we make it shiny again but it's very difficult to remove rust so before it forms rust what we have to take care we have to see that it is painted nicely or it is greased nicely now if i paint it what is the use uh, what is paint doing here paint is not allowing the oxygen present in the air to react with iron article so we paint it we put grease you have seen in the cars and the machines they put grease in between that is also done to prevent the corrosion of iron silver it can be removed at home using a toothpaste do you know this toothpaste can be used to clean the silver articles the toothpaste contain a base all toothpaste have base in it and this base helps in removing the sulfur from the black coating which is formed and thus silver is again shining